Welcome back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge, bringing back a midweek review. And you know, this one actually, I gotta give a shout out to my friends at the Black Bourbon Family, right? Another YouTube channel. Good friends of mine, Jason and Brandy, they review this and like, Bourbon Judge, you gotta try Elijah Craig A121. So the best thing about it is that, you know, going back a couple episodes ago, um, beginning of the year, I reviewed Elijah Craig C920, right? So I reviewed it, I heard a lot about it, and I loved it. I loved it so much, it was a three gavel winner. Three gavels, right? That was quick. Um, but I loved it, right? And again, I said it was so darn good that it truly belonged in my top 10 of 2020. That's cool, I missed out. I'm not sleeping on Elijah Craig again, right? I took 2020 off from Elijah Craig, but I'm back with Elijah Craig, right? All right. But before I get into Elijah Craig, a couple of housekeeping things, right? So um, number one, uh, just want to say, you know, thank you for everyone watching the channel. Really appreciate it. Um, if you can go ahead and do me a couple of favors, number one, hit the like button below, get a little crazy in the video. Please drop me a comment. I love going back and forth, you know, with everyone via comments. Um, and then also make sure you hit the subscribe button below as well, right? So that's that. Uh, huge shout out to all my patrons, right? So I started my Patreon page uh, maybe a couple weeks ago. Thankful for everyone who has uh, became a patron as well. You know, a lot of great commentary. We go back and forth with, you know, um, I've given a lot of different updates like on bourbons I'm going to review, um, updates on, uh, let's call it, you know, just purchases that I've recently bought and ones that I left on the shelf as well. And just a lot of great fun commentary as well. So thanks again for all the uh, Patreon members. Really appreciate your support, your guidance. And just, you know, again, always love the commentary and give you guys a little sneak peek into what's next for the Bourbon Judge. All right. Um, one last thing that I'm working on real quick. You see this lovely Glen Cairn glass? Working to get some Bourbon Judge Glen Cairn glasses produced as well for the channel as some giveaways. And then again, also for some of the, uh, for some of the uh, Patreon um, subscribers as well, right? Okay. So let's go ahead and pour this bad boy. Uh, all right. So again, when I reviewed C920, literally, and I mean truly folks, literally, I happened to go out to the liquor store, one of my spots, I think I was like a day or two later, just walking in, what do I find? the A121, right? So, of course, I had to buy it. I mean, it was like it was meant to be, it was there, blah, blah, blah. No connection, none of, the, uh, none of that. It was just there. I had to buy it, right? So, the cool thing about Elijah Craig, which I really like about Elijah Craig, Barrel Proof, is, you know, when you think about Elijah Craig, a couple of things, let's kind of just go over the Cliff Notes version, right? Number one, comes out three times per year. You got the A, the B, the C. A comes out in the, in the spring or really early, early spring. B comes out in summer. C comes out in winter. The first number is always the month that it's released. So this one's obviously one for the January. <laughs> and then the year or the last two. This is 21 for this year, 2021, right? So three releases per year. It's a 65 to $70 uh, bourbon, always barrel proof, always uncut, always unfiltered. And from an age standpoint, look on the side of the bottle. 12 nice, lonely years, right? 12 years aging in a Kentucky distillery. Heaven Hill honestly makes us a phenomenal bourbon, right? So we're back to see how good is the A121 verse its brother, right? The one thing I'm gonna call out, one major thing, right? This one here, C920, came in at 132 proof, 132.8, it's close to 133. That was fire, folks, I mean straight fire. This one actually comes in at a very nice and elegant 123.6, literally 123.6, right? So it's like, literally, it's like almost 10 less from a proof standpoint than the last one. So what I'm wondering are two things. A, because it's only 123.8, Six, how much has that really impacted the quality? Um, and then number two, is it still going to pack a punch? I really don't know, um, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and dive into this bad boy. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it from a color standpoint. So color standpoint, 
Very nice, dark, elegant brown, very deep. I will say, I don't know this for sure, I believe they use a char number four, right? So just to kind of break it down, super high level, most distilleries use anywhere from char one through four. Obviously, the, the, the higher the number, the longer they burn the inside of the barrel, they fire the barrels, right? And the, the longer the char, the more deep the bourbon penetrates in, it becomes a little bit darker, and your, your notes are a little bit more sweeter, your caramel, your brown sugars, they kind of come out, right? Because they really penetrate the barrel, right? So that's that from a, a, a barrel perspective. So this has to be a number of four, a four char. It is super dark, super elegant. Let's get into the nose a little bit. Ooh. That nose is like, oh gosh. Mm, it's so nice. So what I love about Elijah Craig, not only is it typically MSRP, right? You're always gonna find it at 65, 70 bucks, a little bit more here and there, but you typically you will find it, right? A couple liquor stores, a little bit of work, but not a ton. It always has great quality and always is consistent, right? Consistency. And I love that in a bourbon. So I'm hoping this one from the nose and the palate is consistent. So a couple of things stand out. Number one, very traditional Elijah Craig barrel proof, right? Caramel, brown sugar, some leather, some oak from the barrel, from the aging process, some pepper. Um, I also get what's really unique, well, two things. Number one, some type of like berries, blackberries um, or blueberries. But what really stands out, this was not in the last version, raisins. Not sure where it's coming from, but this one definitely has like some raisins in, in the nose. Be very interested to see whether or not that transfers to the palate. You never know. As we say, cheers, salute. Hey, I had a chance to, again, connect recently with my friends over the Black Bourbon family. I appreciate what they're doing. Appreciate everyone else out there who watches the channel. Cheers, salute to everyone. Thank you guys and gals. Ah, okay, okay. So, mm, hmm, <laughs> all right. Before I give you the judgment and before I break down the palate, there's a little bit of bourbon left. And I mean, just a little bit, right? You guys know I don't leave bourbon in the glass, at least not good bourbon or even mediocre bourbon. So I gotta finish it, right? It's just the way it is, salute. Mm. Okay. Whew. Wow. So, I got to give you a judgment. But before I do that, let me break down the palate. The palate was literally, literally the exact same as the nose. The caramel, the brown sugar, the oak, the leather, the spice like pepper, the, uh, the berries, the blackberries, all of that screamed in the palate. And the surprise kicker that was in the nose also came through. The raisins was there, right? I'd never recall having raisins in like an Elijah Craig barrel proof, but in this one, it was there. And the last thing, a very nice, long and powerful finish. So folks, you know the verdict is already in. This courtroom has another guilty candidate. This is a buy, all day, all night. Elijah Craig, Heaven Hill, you are producing some damn good quality bourbon at $65 to $70. Thank goodness. Keep it that way. Folks, I appreciate everyone out there watching the channel. I'll talk to you soon. Again, watch out this weekend for our guest judge who's back. Peace.